in that chair all this time. <laughs> no, it's a bit big for him. <coughs> Hello. Hello, George. Hello, George. So evidently, I would rather be doing this speech without the sheet of paper, but it's not going to be possible, as I only wrote this last night under the influence. I didn't want to ruin my beauty sleep by staying all night, up all night, trying to memorise it, so here we go. You were up all night. <laughs> Some of you may know me as the, the bride's son, the groom's son-in-law, the favourite one, or simply gorgeous George. <laughs> I don't think those people are here. <laughs> so obviously it's fabulous that we're all here from all corners of the globe to celebrate the marriage of Olivia Shaw, or, or should I say Ranger, and especially after that entrance, the smooth, suave, sophisticated Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> As you may know, my granddad, Olivia's dad, can't be with us today. But I'm certain he's a very, very proud man right now, watching his beautiful daughter get married to such a gorgeous bloke on such a gorgeous day. I love it. You wrote it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I have spectacles. Although I'm not the father of the bride, I am in fact the man of the house. <laughs> Now, it's been hard for me recently coming to terms with the thought of having another man in the house, yeah. but hopefully we can share this role, as I'm not really keen on giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> as I digress, there seems to be one more dilemma which has been repeatedly passing through the back of my mind over the last few weeks. This is the thought of having to share my poor Max and my razor with Keith would have never given <laughs> I know, I know, I'm going to have to take a big step and somehow get used to it, slash pretend I don't mind. I'm sure I live so long as I don't end up wearing a pair of Keith's skimpy neon Y fronts. <laughs> as I'm on the subject of the groom, I might just add a few more words. Okay. Keith has been there for me in the good times, the not so good times and the desperate times. For instance, the 2007-2008 New Year in Sydney. By some miracle, he managed to get me back to the hotel where we were staying. As on the way back, I managed to greet and wish a happy new, new year to possibly everyone in the whole of Sydney. This is the result of me in a free bar. Keep your thumbs between the lines. <laughs> I'm sure Keith would have been just as legless if it wasn't for Olivia, who obviously wears the trousers in the relationship. <laughs> as, much as, he take care, as much as he takes care of me, I believe I managed to take care of him just as much. Although convincing him it would be fine to go to the Seaview Hotel and the Mrs. Won't Mind probably isn't the best advice I've ever given him. But I'm only a young boy, so I can be forgiven. But for those of you who haven't been to the Seaview Hotel, just imagine lots of Asian women who come up to you after five minutes and say to you, I love you, you're taking me back to the angle of <laughs> But that's not the reason why we go there. We go there because the live music's great, isn't it, Keith? <laughs> <laughs> right, Olivia. <laughs> We've only got one page left. We haven't got that much time. <laughs> Too many times as a child was I locked in the house for the most 15 minutes at a time. Before you, Alicia, or me would realise that you'd forgotten me. <laughs> Yes, my childhood memories are cruel and would only hurt your ears. <laughs> Not being the best behaved child in the world, I still like to think I'm perfect. But the perfect one is in fact my mum, Olivia. To me, you are the perfect mother, to others the perfect friend, and Keith, possibly, most probably, indefinitely, the perfect wife. You've always said Mira's the perfect one, Alicia the special one, and me the favourite one. Although I totally agree, I think I'm actually all three. <laughs> <laughs> Mia and Alicia are my older sisters. Unfortunately for any of you sickos who've been, che been checking them out tonight, they're in fact taken. <laughs> <laughs> Nearby James, my, my new brother, the king of vlogging. <laughs> Photocopy, yes. And Alicia, by one day, her new indigenous husband, who she's 
the living room <laughs> pattern you did it for the last few months. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I refused to pay for his reason, so he couldn't make it. <laughs> it's great to have you back. <laughs> if any of you fancy a dodgy sandwich and a nice chat about Peter Andre and Jordan's breakup, then I suggest you head down to the deli and date the boys, where Mia works. But apparently, as I just found out, she doesn't work there anymore. She's some sort of professional makeup artist. So if you want to look as good as Olivia does tonight, then give her a call. But there's one person who won't need to do that, and that's the stunning Lola. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's not often a, a whole family is gathered in such great spirit. I have Olivia to thank for this. The most supportive, most generous, most outgoing, and the most forgiving, which is arguably your best character in my eyes. So I'd like you all to raise your glasses to such a great person. I wish you both the best for many years to come. And lastly, Keith, does this mean I get half your inheritance now? <laughs> and Mum, just remember who chooses your nursing home. <laughs>